On this week's Fishing Tips, Ray Gildall of the Nisswa Guides League and Mandy Urich, the bassing biologist, dive into another Minnesota favorite to catch, the northern pike. One of the other real popular fish that people love to catch in Minnesota is the northern pike. And so we're going to talk about a few basic techniques today for catching northern pike. And just a general rule, when you uh, get into that midsummer time and the weather gets warm, the weed lines usually have the smaller pike in them. And to find the larger pike, you usually got to go off the weed lines, around humps, deeper water. It's not uncommon to find really nice sized pike in 25 to 30 feet of water in the midsummer, but depending on the lake you're at and uh, how you're going to fish them. But some real basic techniques is to use spinner type baits. This color is dynamite for northern pike on any lake. It doesn't matter, it's, a, it's basically a bucktail and it's a yellow bucktail with a little sound to it. So when you're cranking it, it'll do this. And uh, I use it into the weeds over the shallow waters and then I take it out into a little deeper water. Sometimes I even put a little weight on the front of this and drop it into 20 to 25 feet of water and crank in it and uh, a bucktail. The bucktails come in single blades, double blades, triple blades. It's a great technique for, for northern pike fishing. Another, just a very common and popular way is to use crankbaits. Uh, again, this is an X wrap. It's a very good color. Um, trolling crankbaits in the evenings or in the mornings over the weed lines. Uh, the numbers on the crankbaits tell you how deep they're going to go. So if you have a number like a three or four, it doesn't dive as, as deep as a seven or eight does. So if you're going to fish over the weed lines or right outside the edge of a shallow weed, get a, get a crankbait that doesn't run too deep. And they come in a variety of colors and a variety of shapes. But I like to use the greens, the perch colors, and the middle colors, the light colors. They're just a very, very good technique for catching northern pike. Well, just like walleye fishing, you can also jig for northern pike. Normally I'd use a jig that's a little bit larger than this and you can tip it with your favorite bait and you can fish them there again uh, anywhere from outside of those weed edges all the way down into 20 to 25 feet of water. Personally, I like to tip mine with a larger sucker minnow, seems to work great. But as we showed earlier in our bass segments, there's different sizes of spinner baits. This is about the perfect size for uh, throwing for big pike and the best color I personally I think there is out there. There again, you can tip this with either a plastic and or a, a minnow and you can chuck them just about anywhere you want. Pike are very good to eat. This, the technique and the uh, secret is to be able to get the bones out of them. And uh, I would suggest if you don't know how to do that, just go on YouTube and, and look at how to take the bones out of a northern pike. But they're very good eating. So there are basically four techniques that you can use for catching northern pikes in Minnesota. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.